Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. May Allah's peace, mercy, blessings be on you. Welcome to the gems from the Quran. Alhamdulillah, we are still going with this wonderful chapter, Surah Al Jinn. And we stopped at ayah number 17, where Allah Almighty said, لِنَفْتِنَهُمْ فِيهِ وَمَنْ يُعْرِضْ عَنْ ذِكْرِ رَبِّهِ يَسْلُكْهُ عَذَابًا صَعْدًا Which means, so we might test them therein. And whoever turns away from the remembrance of his Lord, he will be put into a severe punishment. And we gave this example that every one of us will go through this test. But... In this test, what's required is required that you have to have patience, you have to get closer to Allah, you have to pray, you have to make dua, you ask Allah Almighty to give you patience and take you out from your calamity. And if you do opposite than what I just told you, which is, وَمَن يُعْرِضْ عَن ذِكْرِ رَبِّهِ And whosoever turns away from the remembrance of Allah Almighty, what will happen? Allah Almighty says, يَسْلُكْهُ عَذَابًا Allah will put him into a severe punishment because now who, you, who should you go back to? Allah or the worldly people or the people in the world and here and there? No. And then Allah Almighty is telling us if you really want to come out from your calamity, come out from your you know, problems and issues, what you will do? Allah Almighty said the verse after in ayah number 18. Allah says, وَأَنَّ الْمَسَاجِدَ لِلَّهِ فَلَا تَدْعُ مَعَ اللَّهِ أَحَدًا And he revealed that the masajid and the mosques are for Allah. So do not invoke with Allah anyone. This is what I told you. Allah is saying don't turn away from the remembrance of Allah Almighty. If you really want Allah, go to the masajid, go to the masjid, sit in the masjid, pray with the people, make dua to Allah Almighty alone. And Allah says, فَلَا تَدْعُ مَعَ اللَّهِ أَحَدًا Do not call anyone beside Allah Almighty. Do not call anyone, do not associate partner with Allah Almighty. We have a major problem that people believe in Allah Almighty, but yet they are believing in so-and-so grave. They go to so-and-so, they call it, uh, wali or they call it uh, uh, in, in other languages I don't know what uh, the graves and the places that they go and they call upon that person they call upon this dead person they said oh I have this problem and that problem my wife is not getting pregnant my son is having so and so disease my wife and my mom and my father and this and that having so and so problem and they are calling about, upon that person where is Tawheed? where is worshipping Allah Almighty alone? Where is that witnessing and worshipping Allah Almighty alone? You put all your efforts, you put all your dua, you put all your act of worship for Allah alone. So where is that? And Allah Almighty very clearly saying, وَأَنَّ الْمَسَاجِدَ لِلَّهِ فَلَا تَدْعُ مَعَ اللَّهِ أَحَدًا The masajid is only and only for the sake of Allah and for Allah Almighty. It belongs to Allah Almighty alone. فَلَا تَدْعُ Do not invoke do not call, do not supplicate beside Allah anyone. So this is a very, very important message for all of us from the Quran. That do not associate partner with Allah. Do not invoke anyone beside Allah. Do not ask assistance and support and help except from Allah and no one else. And this is the correct belief that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, told us to believe in. Believing Allah alone and invoking and making dua to Allah alone and nothing beside Him. And then Allah Almighty told us after that in ayah number 19. And He says, وَأَنَّهُ لَمَّا قَامَ عَبْدُ اللَّهِ يَدْعُوهُ كَادُوا يَكُونُونَ عَلَيْهِ لبدا. So Allah Almighty is saying, and when the servant of Allah stood up supplicating him alone, they almost become about him a compacted mess. So imagine one of the slaves of Allah Almighty 
وَأَنَّهُ لَمَّا قَامَ عَبْدُ اللَّهِ يَدْعُوهُ So when the slave of Allah stood up to make dua to Allah Almighty, invoking and supplicating to Allah Almighty alone. What happened? كَادُوا يَكُونُونَ عَلَيْهِ So the other people, they almost become about him a compacted mass. They are trying to put him in a mass. That how come you are calling upon, uh, you, are, you are calling Allah Almighty alone? How this is possible? And this is another problem. That whenever you, sometime you call Allah Almighty alone and you're living in a society and a place that people are calling upon this dead person or calling about this grave and calling upon and calling on invo invocating and supplicating because of this tree and believing, even though they are claiming they are Muslims, but believing that this tree is the tree of wishes. You go and you make your wish and Allah Almighty will give you. So they are having belief in this tree and this stone and this grave and this dead person and everything is gone. Once you believe that, everything is gone from your deeds. We'll just take a short break and then inshallah ta'ala we will continue after the break. Stay with us inshallah. Welcome back, dear viewers. So as I said, those who are believing in stones and the trees and the graves and the dead people and they supplicate to these things. If you have this belief, everything is gone. Because Allah Almighty will not accept it from you. Because Allah Almighty does not forgive anyone who's doing shirk, anyone who's associating partner with Allah Almighty. So by you thinking that this tree is a holy tree and because of this tree you will go and you might put some threads and go and put some water or go and say, uh, ask this tree. And you think that because of this tree, Allah will answer you. No, this will not going to happen. Allah Almighty will never ever accept your work or your deed. Because Allah Almighty said in the Quran very clearly, we are all what we are saying is in the Quran. Allah Almighty says that Allah Almighty will never forget, will never forgive and yushraka bih the one who is associating partner with Allah Almighty. وَيَغْفِرُ مَا دُونَ ذَلِكَ And be, be, below that, Allah Almighty will forgive anything. So below the shirk, whatsoever a person is doing, even he is doing really great sin, he might forgive that person. But the one who is doing shirk, associating partner with Allah Almighty and calling upon the tree and calling upon the dead people and calling upon the graves and calling upon whatsoever and putting a stone at home or putting some kind of things at home, believing and because of that, Allah is blessing him and putting barakah in his life and because of him, he is getting protected and he is getting uh, money and he is getting salary. All these things are form of shirk form of associating partner with Allah Almighty. And because of that little stone or because of that little piece of garment or whatsoever that you are keeping at home or in your car or in your pocket, because of that Allah Almighty will not accept from him anything. Can you imagine putting a small garment and thinking because of this piece of garment or piece of uh, stone or piece of anything and thinking that this will protect you, this will give you, this will bless you? This will prevent you from the Jannah. Or from the other side, maybe a person is doing some really bad sin, really some major sin, but he is not associating any partner with Allah. So he's committing sin and then he go back to Allah. He's committing the same sin and then he is doing the tawbah, doing repenting to Allah Almighty. And he is on and off, on and off. Yes, he will be punished if he will die on that. He will be punished and Allah will put him in the hellfire. But yet Allah Almighty, after cleaning him and wiping him, completely from that sin that he used to do, he will put him into the Jannah. But just because of one small belief that you have because of that tree or because of that stone or because of that, that person, Allah Almighty will not forgive that as Allah Almighty said in the Quran, that Allah Almighty will not forget and not forgive the one he is doing shirk and yushraka bihi wa yaghfir ma duna dalik. So Allah Almighty will never ever Allow and forgive the one who is uh, associating partner with Allah Almighty and Allah Almighty will forgive anyone below the shirk. So I ask Allah Almighty to purify our intentions and to purify our ibadah that we only and only worship Allah Almighty alone 
not associating anything with him until we die and we meet Allah Almighty on Tawheed, worshipping him alone. The time is up for this episode and inshallah ta'ala we will continue in the next episode. By then, take care of yourself. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Oh.